Hello everyone, Peter Harris with Commercial Property Advisors here. Hope you're doing well today. I want to share one thing with you today. My dad was in the military. He was in the Army. He was a sergeant in the Army for 30 years. So I grew up on a military base. So you can imagine my life was about discipline and obedience. Discipline and obedience to Sergeant Harris, right? He was a great man. But he also was a sage of the neighborhood. I recall many young people coming to my dad's house, to our house, and sitting with my dad for hours. My, my, my dad would just talk with them. As a kid, I had no clue what they're talking about. But over time, I grew to respect my dad more and more as to why are people coming to our house, right, to listen to what my dad has to say. So with that said, my dad imparted to me, he left with me three life lessons that I'll never forget because they are so true today. Right? So true, and I'll share those with you. Number one is to be kind to people. Right? Number two is to work hard and play hard. And number three is that good things never come easily. Right? That is so true. Those are so priceless uh, that I still, uh, they still embody me today. Well, and over in my 20 plus years of, of investing in real estate all across this nation and, and mentoring thousands of people, right? Through my books, through my videos, through webinars, and also through mentoring today. I want to share with you what I call real estate life lessons, but I have a twist to it. So the twist is I'm going to share with you three real estate life lessons that people learn too late. Let's get started. All right. Number one is life lesson. Number one is not starting as soon as possible. Starting what? Investing in commercial real estate. People wait too long, right? So is this you? Is this you? You're waiting. You're wanting to time the market. You're going to jump in at the right time. Guess what? The right time will never come, never, never come about. You're going to lose opportunity after opportunity because if you wait here, by the time you get ready here, the prices are up here. Got it? All right. Now, or is this you? You're waiting for the good old days. Remember the good old days? When I first started, uh, I could find any deal. I can find eight cap, nine cap, 10 caps, almost anywhere, including California, right? This was back 20 years ago. Guess what? Those days are never coming back. And it's not because it, it, we're not going to experience a crash. It's because the cost of things are just so much higher now. Inflation is so much higher now. So don't expect the good old days. They're not coming back. Okay? Or is this you? Are you waiting to have all of your ducks in a row? You're waiting for this to happen, that to happen, and this to be perfect before you jump in. Guess what? Those three things will probably never happen. Right? The time is now, okay? Now, uh, my dad left me a quote. He says, Pete, uh, amateurs sit and wait for inspiration, right? The rest of us get up and go to work. <laughs> I love that, right? Get up and go to work and bust your butt. That's what he told me, right? Now, is this you? Are you in your 40s, 50s, or 60s? If you are, guess what? You need to start now, but, but you can't afford to make a mistake because you're you're, you're where I am now. I'm, I'm in this age bracket here, right? So we're, we, you know, we, we don't have time to recover if we make a big mistake. So, uh, two things. When you're this, when you're this age, in this age bracket, you need to measure twice and cut once. And number, number two, you need to get expert help. So don't try to do this by yourself, right? So you don't have a lot of time and you can't make mistakes. Got it? All right. So here's the bottom line. The bottom line is good assets will not get cheaper. They will not. So that means you need to get started as soon as possible. Got it? Okay. Let's go to real estate life lesson number two. Here we are, real estate life lesson number two. And it is being cheap is expensive. Now, cheap in what? Investing in yourself. I want you to invest in yourself. It's going to cost money, but it'd be well worth it, right? So some guidance here. I want you to be frugal on your personal expenses, okay? Keep the end goal in mind, right? That means don't buy a boat, right? Don't buy the fancy car, and don't do the addition on the house when you're trying to get into real estate investing. Put the money into real estate and use your real estate to do the car, the boat, and the house addition. Got it? All right, and also I want you to be aggressive on your business expenses, right? And I have down here top-down goal setting. What that is, this is what I do every single year. And with our students, I ask them, what are your goals? Right? So they tell me the goals. So I have my goals. And I put them at the top. Now, what's it going to take 
to achieve this goal at the top? Well, all these things at the bottom have to be built first in order for you to reach your goals. We call that top-down goal setting. It works great, okay, because it keeps, it keeps the end goal in mind, okay, it keeps the vision there, and it's exciting when you can see it and you're building all these building blocks, right? And these building blocks are what we have in our company today. So we help our students with all these building blocks to build this fortune right here of commercial real estate. Okay, now here's a couple of the building blocks. If being cheap is expensive, we want you to hire the best tax advisor. Okay, so don't hire your cousin who works for one of the chain uh, uh, tax uh, companies that do tax preparations and he works for them, you know, three, three months out of the year. That's the wrong person. That's being cheap and that can cost you a lot of money. So I personally, uh, when I first started, I used a neighborhood accountant to do the properties that I had. They were just a few properties. But after a while, I knew I needed someone more professional. And I went ahead and I spent four times the amount of money with this professional company, but it saved me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Got it? Hundreds of thousands, not tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay? Was it worth it? Yes, okay? So you can't uh, be cheap because it can be expensive. Now, I have a link here on, on the taxes. Commercial estate investing and taxes go hand in hand because commercial estate, there's so many wonderful, wonderful things you can do tax-wise. So I'm gonna share this video with you. The video link will appear on the screen of how you can maximize your tax returns using commercial real estate investing, okay? All right, next is hire the best real estate advisor. Okay, there's a video here and uh, it's called The Ugly Side of Commercial Real Estate Investing where this guy wanted our help but it was too cheap and he took the advice of someone else and it didn't end well, let me just say that. Okay, so hire the best advisors, hire the best people to help you, right? Again, if you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s, hey, you don't have a, uh, you know, time to make a mistake and recover, right? So hire the best. Number three, I want you to spend money on marketing yourself, okay? So you have to get yourself out there and then in our company, we teach our students how to go direct to the property owners to get these off-market deals and it costs money. So those marketing efforts need to be perpetual, okay? They should never stop, right? In fact, uh, to stop marketing is like, you know, stopping your watch to save time. Makes no sense, right? Okay, all right, hopefully you, you understand now that being cheap can be really, really expensive. Got it? Okay, let's go to real estate life lesson number three. All right, here we are with the third real estate life lesson, people learn too late. Number three is letting pride get in your way of success. Now, what do you mean by pride is arrogance, okay, arrogance. You know those guys or gals that know so much that they don't need your help, they got it. They know exactly what to do all the time because they're smarter than you, right? So they're arrogant. I'm sure you know those people that are, you go, man, they, they, he is or she is so arrogant, right? Well, I'm gonna share an ancient scripture with you and it is so true and it pertains to them and it may help you because it sure has helped me. It says that when pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. So what that means is, is when, when you're full of arrogance and you're full of pride and you go do something and you're not open to help, oftentimes it's not going to work. You live long enough and you will see that happen to a prideful person or to an arrogant person. Now, but with a person who's humble and open to advice and, and, uh, and receive advice, there is wisdom and behind that is success. Okay. So, uh, humility wins. Humility wins. And oftentimes, pride that you see in a person as arrogance, it's, it's, it can be disguised as fear. Okay? So, my dad once told me that he goes, Peter, uh, fear is wetting your pants. <laughs> fear is wetting your pants, but courage is doing what you're supposed to be doing with wet pants. Got it? Okay? Fear is wetting your pants, and then doing what you're supposed to do with wet pants. That is courage. Got it? Okay. So now, I want you to be okay with not knowing what to do, then ask for help, okay? But the prideful don't. They'll figure it out themselves and they'll do it themselves. And we know what's gonna happen with them. Probably nothing or probably something not good, all right? Now, 
it's absolutely okay to take a shortcut to your success by hiring someone smarter than you. Okay, so the life lesson here, the real estate life lesson here is don't let your pride get in your way of success. Hire the best, right? It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to know that I don't know what I'm doing, but I have this big goal and I want to achieve it. I want to achieve it. Uh, you know, give me some help. Where can I find the help? Right? Okay. Well, anyway, that's what our company is for. We're here to help people like that. Okay. That are humble, right? And, and open to receiving advice. Right? Okay. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this video on three real estate life lessons that uh, people learn too late. Uh, number one was not starting as soon as possible. Number two is being cheap is, is expensive. And number three is letting your pride getting, get in the way of your success. All right, everyone. If you like this video, please click the like button and, uh, or go on to our website, commercialpropertyadvisors.com. Thank you so much. You have a great day and I'll see you at the next video.